Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a pi in pie chart in Excel 365. So here's an example where I've got some sales data over some specific years, 17, 18, 19, and 20. However, my sales data is more broken down for 2021 into four quarters, and I want to kind of illustrate that in a chart. So you can see I've got my pie wedges for the main sales chart here, but 2021 splits up into its own little pie chart. I'll click anywhere in the chart area, delete that. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead and select my sales data, just as I would making any other chart. And on the insert ribbon, head over to the pie chart area, and I'm going to choose the option here, pie of pie. And I'm going to click on that. Now, by default, it's only showing me three options here. However, I can click anywhere to select that pie of pie. And I'm going to get some options over here on the far right and under Format Data Series. However, I want to click over on the Series Options. And under the Series Options, I do see this Values in My Second Plot. It's set to 3. Now, if I went down to 2 or 1, which would be kind of silly, that's not what I want. I'm going to move it up to 4 because there are four quarters in that total series that I want to show. So now my pie wedge, my pie wedges for this pie of pie, you'll see that I've got the um, light blue, green, dark blue, rusty orange there. And that corresponds down here with 2021 quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Great. So that's how I can do that. Now you can play around also with the second plot size. Currently it's 75%. If that was 100%, then both of these pie charts are gonna be the same size. However, I kinda like it when the second pie chart is just a little bit smaller because it makes it clear to, to your audience that this second pie chart is more of a subset of the primary pie chart. And that's a lot of pie wedges to look at. So while I'm here, actually I'll just right click on any one of these pie wedges and I can add data labels pop those in there, then I can right click on any of those data labels and choose format data labels and that'll customize my format pane to show those. And let's see, you know, to make these really easy to see while they're all selected, I can go back to my home ribbon and just choose a nice white font since they all seem to have kind of dark backgrounds. I'll make those bold as well. And then back over my format data labels. Let's see, I think values still look pretty good, but maybe I'll cho choose the category name in there as well. And you could play around with those as you need to. But once you feel like you've got it set up right, you've created your pie of pie chart. So now I've got, for the main pie chart off to the left, I've got 2017, 18, 19, and 20. And then although it's labeled as other, that's our 2021 pie chart, which leads over to this right side pie chart where I can see each individual quarter of 2021 and start to appreciate the impact of the sum of all of those in with the main pie chart. But we do want it to be clear to our audience what's going on here. So if I click once on any of these data values, notice they all get selected. But if I click once more on the other comma right there, I can actually edit that one right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that out to 2021. Everything else is gonna stay the same. So now it really stands out which years are involved. And I can see just by looking on my left pie chart that 2021 is a bigger pie wedge than all of these other pie, char uh, pie wedges. And now for the real details, we can say, well, what was going on in 2021? Was there one particular quarter that was really big while, while all the others were relatively small? And that can be a, a point of discussion in a presentation to find out, hey, 2021 was a little bit weird in that we had this really unusual quarter three sales. So, so go ahead and play around with that. It's pretty neat. And basically just select your data like you would any other chart. And under insert, where you're looking for the pie of pie option. Thanks for hanging out with me.